surprised to see the Chun Li as we did see uh, Robbie shy away from the Shoto matchup against Blanca in in lieu of the Chun Li matchup. However, again, Mulvi does not match up quite well, but he does not rematch up quite well. So either of which looks like Axiom choosing the Ryu here. Of course, that's the main character. I like him sticking to his guns, not worrying about the matchup too much. And that's, that's what's going to win you games. Is you're gonna be your character, not your matchup. So, of course, full beat. Taking that Blanca is again patience, footsies. That's what we're gonna be seeing from that full beat here. Just simply good, solid fundamentals. And actually, I'm a little bit more aggressive than full beat, and that's what we're gonna see from him too. Both these guys know each other's play inside and out. As we have the Sensei and the students here in this match. Crash for the fireball again. You can see that a lot from me. Oh, good focus point here. What's the punish? Full combo off the solar plexus. Throw from both players. Again, block without meter. There's a block without a reversal. That's what we can think about. So there's this throw tech again. First time on Axiom's side. Focus chicken again. Axiom backing away like every single player that has played against Full Bleed today. He's been backing away from that focus chicken. As you know, as you know that Full Bleed's probably going to win it. They're sticking that awesome looking forward there. Kind of fits in with the stage, and there's a combo coming from Full Bleed. Get puts himself in the life lead. Wow, friend chap coming out. What's the setup? Getting that blocked forward, medium punch DP to try to get an ultra. That's the Axiom special. There's the EXF ball I was talking about earlier. FEC backwards. Nope, 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 nope. Cannot focus stack the uh, crouch first in that range. You need to focus stack dash forward to uh, punish that move. So now we see a bar coming out from Ryu and almost a bar from Blanca. There's a Blanca with the bar as a Blanca with reversal. So that's always if you can find good combo with the push and full lead. Standing fierce frame trap, no punish from Ryu. That's again minus 5, so it's pretty easy to punish. What's the pressure? Throw attack. Both players again, pretty, pretty, uh, calm and neutral for sure. Sticking to middle amount of buttons, how we're fully a little bit more buttony, but of course, Wonka's footsie style is a little bit more, little bit more buttony than he is. It's just about three frame across the screen. Yeah. He's not EX Fireball, is Axiom. Good EX Blanca Ball, and that punishes low smoke stack back dashes if they don't have a uh, pretty awesome back dash. Ooh, almost baited the focus crumple, but again, Axiom did not win that focus chicken battle. Safe jump of blocks the wrong way. He's using this ultimate, to be honest, but he's still going to take the game off of that. Or so he's taking the round. So let's check out the meter situation both these players. Again, every round that previous does not matter as long as you carry the meter into the next round. And that's what we'll take what Foley did with almost two and a half bars to work with here. And again, that full screen frame trap, stand jab, crouching shoes. This is it. Trying to egg the action to press the buttons. The sitting right house, he tried to actually punish the Blanca ball with it, but he didn't quite get there. Almost caught the completion from Axiom. Doesn't quite get it though, and that's going to hurt him quite a bit here as he now lost his life lead against Blanca. Again, Ron is trying to get that chip damage. Actually, excuse me, trying to get that chip damage in. Against, it gets full bleed. He has life advantage. And that's minus five. There's simply no reason not to be able to punish that. Good low hit. Good, uh, uh, again, full bleed getting baited there, but doesn't do anything. He simply waited it out and did get baited there from Axiom. Good stuff to him. Again, full bleed now with a huge life advantage, but he does have the super to come back with. And that's what keep in mind. Red focus, looking for that low forward fireball. Doesn't quite happen though. There it is. He's, he did focus that quite realize that uh, wouldn't work. And uh, Axiom taking game number one. Well, we definitely need to reconsider his uh, game plan and uh, see what he needs to do to change against Axiom. His, his game play seemed to work out in the first couple rounds, but especially towards that last round, it seemed a little bit. A little bit dominant there from Axiom. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Haruken! Haruken! That folks, that's that crowd to meet the game focus attack. This happened twice this set so far. Both players again, they're very low on the buttons. Just trying to do things safe and clean. Oh, no, 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 
just uh, really added in uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. You can now, for the speed does AE 2012, he can counter confirm off of uh, EX Fireball. Anything he wants, which is really sweet. No good punish there. He needs to walk forward just a little bit to get that punish. No combo completion. Both of these players facing a lot of opportunities. Wow, he actually was called mixing up Axiom on Blanca's own wake up. Yeah, three frame stand jab. You can see it being presented with quite a bit here from Blanca. Super fast, super good. Cool. Standing here is minus five, but too far away for Axiom to punish. Good space in the full bleed. Crashing Fierce. That was not a reaction, that was a read. That was simply a read and full bleed now up the round. However, Axiom is a meter advantage going here in round number two. We saw this exact same thing in game room one can full bleed. Well, it's not this time instead. DXDQ coming out, counter hitting Blanca. Big damage this round, already got a almost three quarters life lead. No stun though, the stun is dissipated and now Blanca is safe. And punish. Maybe just looking for a regular sweep. No, no uh, medium punch. Looks like Axe is going to take this round pretty convincingly. So Blanca just trying to get that meter. Okay, not really much to say about that round. You kind of knew that uh, Axiom was going to take it. So now this is the round that Colby needs to fight for. Again, 1 0 here for Axiom. That was a fantastic whiff punish. Did the crouch fierce. Axiom reacting with the crouch and the hard kick. Colby punishing with his own EX block. That was a fantastic play. There's a counter hit again that frame trap. Crouch like kick, crouch knee kick. He can counter confirm the sweep, but uh, not quite necessary, of course. Right there for Axiom, getting a couple meters. What's the setup? Wow, safe jump against that Blanca ball. The standing knee kick, not a great button for me. It was eight frames, I believe, and also it's. It just doesn't have a great hitbox or hurtbox. It just simply it seems to get re hit there anyway. Good EX Monk will get himself out of the corner. Recognize that Axiom is in the air and get himself out. No ultra. However, this one, he, he was uh, too busy hating himself for the uh, drop ult to simply punish Axiom for the, for the short Yuka. There it is. Axiom now up 2 0. Of course, Axiom a favorite for tonight. Taking either the fifth or sixth seed, which are in contest for tonight. In contest? I think that's the right word. Don't lead it. Collecting the slots here. Trying to figure out what he needs to change to beat Axiom. Both guys are in that awesome purple. And now we see going south round number one. Not really much to say here. Again, this is kind of how it matchups should work. However, Axiom does have Blanca in the corner, but Blanca can do that combo. With focus attack, no punish from Axiom. With focus attack, no punish from that Blanca ball either. Good combo position for Don't Bleed. But there's two missed punishes, and it looks like he's getting Blanca in the, in the advantage here. Combo completion for full bleed, and he's just simply just able to from taking it, and it looks like that's what's going to happen. Let's keep it up. Fight. Full bleed out, up around. However, we we have seen this game so around, so he needs to close out. That's not a combo that uh, Solar Flex is crushing. He needs to be looking for crashing Pierce, scratching the punch, and crashing down, or just simply be being like he has been. There's a EX Monk ball coming off the full bleed, that full frame. Amazing reversal. Now it does cost the bar, however, tons of meter for both these players here in round number two. Great shot with full bleed. Well, that's actually a good question. He uh, reaches out all four bars from Axiom in round number two, so now going to round number three, Monk it within an entire stick of butter advantage over Axiom. That's going to factor pretty greatly here. 
with the footsies. Perfectly spaced block the ball, actually in punishing the next one. He yicks up ball right there. Let's see what's next for full. Closer to throw, you attacking. Not really much you can do about that block the ball, that safe, safe and spaced block the ball. The standing mini punch trap here has been using it all day and it's been working really well. What's the setup? Solar Flex is scouting. Again, there's that DP I was talking about earlier. The DP confirmed after Solar Flex is super easy and it does just a ton of damage. Is that late? No, it's not. Tons of damage got for Axiom. Tries to gain some meter. Blanca at a huge life disadvantage, however, has a ton of meter to work with here. Three oh. axiom. Real win. And next up we have 